back to another episode of My Legacy Garage. Today we decided to do a Christmas special. It's really the weekend before Christmas, but you know, Christmas is busy, so we're gonna shoot it now. And it's a little bit different. You're gonna see the golf cart again. We started having an issue with it right towards the end of camping season, which has been over for a while now. And uh, you know, you hit the brakes and it would try and just put you right through the front. Luckily, there's no windshield, so you didn't smack your face or anything, but it was traumatizing, especially for the children. So I guess I should probably fix that. I thought about waiting, you know, until spring, but then I won't do it, and it'll just be that way again next year. So I'm waiting on parts for the 55, and the Jeep is gone. We got room in here right now. Golf cart's living in the enclosed trailer, so we got to go bring that up here and unload that and get the golf cart out and see if it even still moves. It's been months. Anyway, let's get to it. Anybody else out there use the Blackstones? I'll tell you what, this thing is awesome. I also forgot that it was in here with the golf cart. So we're going to take that out and uh, jam it in the garage here somewhere and then we can get the golf cart out. Alright, that's fun. This thing's heavy. Here we are just cruising on the golf cart like we do at camp. The issue is that when you put the brakes on, even just tapping them, it's pretty dramatic. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are just cruising along and then just the slightest tap of the brakes basically makes it nosedive. Well, not next time, because it doesn't have front brakes, but it's very dramatic. Oh, oh my. It's really a drag when you're just riding along, and it's kind of fun, though, if you want to mess with the kids, because you just do that, and they go all over the place. <laughs> anyway, I think we need to take a look at it and figure out why it's doing that, because, frankly, that's annoying. Especially because some of the streets there in camp, they're paved and you do that on pavement, it's loud. It doesn't mess around. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this thing. Welcome to underneath the golf cart, where the only visual issue I found is that this brake cable is kind of, the casing is broken, but the cable is still working. AJ put the brakes on. Off. On. Off on off as you can see that the cable is moving inside of this broken casing but it is kind of tight i'm not sure originally i had to back this way off because when we lifted it it had pulled this cable so tight that the brakes were basically stuck on and it worked fine for basically all summer until right at the end let me dig a little deeper and see if we can find anything else wrong with it 
I really haven't been able to find anything wrong down here. So I went ahead and backed the brakes off even more. So all you gotta do is you loosen this outer lock nut right here and run it back a little bit and then loosen this one to meet it and then tighten them together again so that they stay there and don't move. So there's lots of slack in the cable now. I'm hoping that that's going to equate to not having an issue. If that doesn't end up fixing it, I think we'll replace this cable. I can't see why that would be an issue because it is working, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's pulling it weird somehow. I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to go give this a shot and see if there's any improvement. Drop it. Well, obviously that didn't work. I'm gonna say we need to put a new cable on it. I don't know why that casing being broke like that would do that, but I'm pretty sure that's what's wrong with it because it's only the tire that that cable goes to that's an issue. So I'm gonna order a cable and when it comes in, we'll put it on. Good news, we got parts. They came before Christmas. I didn't fix it, is what it is. It's the day after Christmas today. I got out here to the garage and I got a couple new toys for in the garage that I put together, like this. A creeper. I don't have to lay on the ground. At any rate, let's get these cables slapped in here and see if that solves our problem. Man, I hope so. Step one is getting these cables apart back here and loose from the brake assembly. Which looks like it's just a cotter key and then like a C-clip. There's that one anyway. I guess I'm gonna have to go get a screwdriver. I can't actually see this thing. Maybe I'll come around there and join you guys. Boy, that makes it a lot easier to see what I'm doing. Not necessarily easier to do it though. There's one. And two. Storing brake cables with, these got C-clips on them too that hold them in here. But if we can pop those out, we can get the cables out and I think I think the ends are same or close to it. We may be able to reuse this bracket here. If not, we'll have to take that off and put a new one on. But we're just going to pop those babies off. This one looks like it's having a bad day. It's a chunk of it missing. All right, let me get these things popped off here. Victory has been had. I got them out of there, and one clip did disintegrate as I was afraid. And we got the new cables just hanging down here. They have to be routed and secured in the back. But first we need to figure out how to fix this clip. Looks like we're going to the parts store. We've got the cables reinstalled. I had to use a snap ring for that one that disintegrated because nobody has a C-clip that will actually fit that. At least nobody that's open the day after Christmas. Hardware store was unavailable. So we're going with what we got from the parts store. I think it'll work. Let's go ahead and put the back together and see what we can make happen here. He's come with fancy new pins and everything. How about that? And we just got to get this pin back in here. That holds that on. Now we need to get this seat clip back on here. There it is. All right, do the same thing to the other side and we should be in business. Here we go. Let me put one zip tie up there for routing and then we'll be in business. Progress has been made. New brake cables are in and routed. And if you spin the tires, 
I hit the brakes, it stops. So, I think that means it's time for a yard test. Shall we? Have I mentioned that my new creeper is also a stool? I don't know where this thing has been all my life, honestly. It makes life so much easier in the garage. I didn't even get filthy laying on the floor working on this thing. Feels weird to be, you know, kind of clean after working on something. Well, down she goes. Test time. We're out for our test ride and well, we're cruising right along here, out by death row. Let's see what happens if we hit the brakes, shall we? I'm a little bit scared. Here we go. Wow, a nice gentle stop. Cool, I fixed it. All right then. There you have it. How to fix brakes to try and put you through the imaginary windshield of a golf cart. I still don't understand why that cable caused it to do that, but obviously that was the problem. I don't know if it has something to do with the cable has to move inside and this was pulling on the casing. I have no idea. I'm not even going to try and waste brain power trying to figure it out because it's fixed. That means it's not my problem anymore. If you like this video, make sure you go hit the like button, you know, the old thumbs up. If you don't like it, make sure you hit the uh, thumbs down button twice. Make sure we really know. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. This thing's old. It'll break again, and I'll have to fix something on it. Plus, you know, there's other stuff we have to fix. I got a mini bike sitting over here that one of the kids wrecked. Gonna have to fix that. Plus, the 55. It looks so lonely over there by itself. I should work on it too, but not tonight. Anyway, I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. I know we did, and we appreciate all of our subscribers hanging out and watching this video for us. And we'll see you next time. That's loud. <laughs>